Hello, my name is Mark Dempsey. I am the Assistant Director of the National Convergence Technology Center. We are funded by a National Science Foundation grant to support IT technician education at community colleges and universities across the country. Today, I'm going to briefly explain our student portfolio pilot project. The origins of this project came from our BUILT, our business and industry leadership team. Our BUILT has long pushed the idea that job applicants need a portfolio of their work when they go to a job interview. The belief is that graduates with a portfolio will have a better chance of getting hired than someone who walks into a job interview with only a resume. And so, the BUILT's interest in the impact and value of portfolios became part of our 2017 NSF renewal grant. The overall goal of this pilot project then is to try and prove that students who receive training in creating and curating e-portfolios get hired more quickly than students who receive no such training. There are three phases to this pilot project, picking the class, implementing the exercises and assignments, and then collecting the data and measuring impact. When picking a class to run the pilot, we wanted to find classes for second year students. The thinking was that students close to graduation would be impacted sooner by the potential benefit of portfolios. But not every school in the pilot can do that. Some pilot classes are first year classes, and that's okay. Th that just means it'll take longer to measure the hiring impact. But more importantly is when it comes to picking the classes, we like to create two pools of students at each school wherever possible. A treatment group that gets the portfolio training and then a control group that does not get the training. This will help with our comparison study. One of our pilot schools has made the portfolio training extra credit, which then self-selects the students into two groups, those that do the extra work and those that do not. One more thing, we've learned already that it works better to add these pilot exercises into 16-week classes. It can be too much for the shorter eight-week classes. We are using LinkedIn and ePortfolio exercises developed by Louise Kowalski from SUNY Erie Community College. Louise has been running these inner classes for years. Specifically, we are asking our pilot project classes to implement Louise's steps one, three, four, and five. This takes students through the process of creating a strong LinkedIn profile and the portfolio shell in Google Sites. All these exercises you can find at the link on this slide. We want to encourage completion and engagement, of course. If it's not extra credit, as I mentioned a moment ago, maybe it can be part of their grade. And we've also realized that first year students may not yet have content to put into the portfolio shell, but that's okay. Building a portfolio and understanding its value are also important. After the class ends, we need to start collecting data. Right now, that means we need students to complete the CTC grants short survey. There's one survey for the control group and another separate survey for the treatment group that has a couple of extra questions about the training. We will provide these links in advance so you can pass them out to your students. And also, the first survey question allows for an opt-out choice for those students who need credit for assignments but for whatever reason cannot or will not answer survey questions. Later, we will need help tracking the student's job progress. That's one reason we're asking students to create a LinkedIn account. We can use their LinkedIn profiles to determine who got hired, whether from the control group or the treatment group, and when they got hired. That will help us compare the hiring rates and answer our overall questions about whether students who receive training portfolios get hired more quickly than students who do not. We have to rely on faculty to help us with this reporting. The CTC grant doesn't know who got the training who didn't. As of now, we're proposing this LinkedIn student research happens once a year, maybe in December. To recap, this is what we need from faculty involved in the portfolio pilot project. One, a commitment to teach Louise's exercises so we can maintain consistency and uniformity across all the pilot classes. Feedback so far has been very positive. Students find the exercises to be simple and clearly explained. Most students are not finding the work to be overly challenging. Two, a promise from faculty to encourage students to take the survey at the end of the class. This feedback is very important. Three, we also have a short feedback survey for faculty as well that we need completed. Four, a promise that faculty will let us know about any concerns or questions along the way. There will likely be a focus group call at the end of the fall and spring semesters to discuss ideas for making this pilot project work even better. And five, as we just mentioned, you will need help at some point to track the career progress of your students using LinkedIn. If you have any questions about our student portfolio pilot project, please email me at mdempsey at Thank you for your time and participation.